title of this presentation is SQL with JavaScript, Running SQL Queries in Modern JavaScript Frameworks. Here, we will explore how to combine the capabilities of SQL databases with modern JavaScript to create powerful, data-driven applications. You'll learn how to execute and manage SQL queries directly from your JavaScript code. Let's discuss the reasons to use SQL with JavaScript. First, full-stack integration. It provides a unified data access across the front and back end. Second, powerful queries. You can leverage SQL's robust querying capabilities. And third, modern tooling. It provides a wide ecosystem of JavaScript libraries and frameworks. This is a simple JavaScript and SQL example. We declare a constant database connection and assign it to create connection function. Then we declare an asynchronous function get user data. Inside this, we declare a constant query. Then we use select all from users where active equals true order by last login descending. Then we declare a constant results and assign it to await database connection dot query and pass the query as the parameter. Finally, we return results. There are a number of JavaScript SQL libraries. First is node.js MySQL. It is the official MySQL driver for Node.js applications. It provides a straightforward application programming interface, or API, for executing SQL queries against MySQL databases. Its features include server-side connection pooling and promises API. The second library is SQLize. SQLize is a modern object relational mapping, or ORM, for Node.js supporting MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, and more. It provides powerful abstractions for database operations. Its features include object relational mapping, migrations, and associations. The third JavaScript SQL library is Next.js. Next.js is a SQL query builder designed to be flexible and portable. It provides a unified application programming interface, or API, for different database systems. Its features include Query Builder, Migrations, and Multi-Dialect. The fourth library is SQL.js. SQL.js is SQLite compiled to WebAssembly. It enables running a complete SQL database directly in the browser without a server. Its features include Client-Side, In-Browser, and WebAssembly. Here's an example of Node.js with MySQL. We will set up a MySQL connection and execute queries. Step 1, Installation and Setup. First, install the MySQL package. NPM, install MySQL 2. Next, create a connection to MySQL. Declare a constant MySQL and assign it to require MySQL 2 slash promise. Declare a constant pool and assign it to MySQL.createPool. Then, pass an object with host local host, user user, password password, database my database. Step 2 Executing basic queries. We can run SQL queries and handle results. We declare an asynchronous function get users. Inside a try block, declare a constant rows and assign it to a wait pool dot query, select star from users where active equals question mark, and pass an array with the value true. Finally, return rows. Inside the catch block, get the error and throw the error. Here we explore advanced MySQL operations in Node.js with transactions and prepared statements. Here's the code for transactions. We declare an asynchronous function transfer funds with from ID to ID and amount as parameters. First, get connection from pool. Declare a constant connection and assign it to await pool.getConnection. Inside a try block, start transaction. Await connection .begin transaction. Deduct from first account, await connection .query update account set balance equals balance minus question mark where ID equals question mark, and pass an array of amount and from ID. Add to second account, await connection .query update account set balance equals balance plus question mark where ID equals question mark, pass the parameters amount and to ID. Commit the transaction. Await connection.commit. Then return an object with success equals true. Inside the catch block, rollback on error. Await connection.rollback, 
then throw error. Finally, release connection back to pool connection.release. Here's an example of SQLize Object Relational Mapping, or ORM, for JavaScript. First, model definition. Declare a constant SQLize in data types and assign it to require SQLize. Declare a constant SQLize and assign it to new SQLize database user pass, and then pass an object with host local host dialect MySQL. Define a user model. Declare a constant user and assign it to SQLize.define user, then pass an object with ID, type data types.integer, auto increment true, primary key true, name type data types.string, allow null false, email type data types.string unique true. Here's the create, read, update, and delete or CRUD operations. Create a new user. Declare an asynchronous function create user with user data parameter. Inside a try block, declare a constant user and assign it to a wait user to create with name user data dot name, email user data dot email. Then return user. Inside a catch block, console that error failed to create user, then throw error. Find all users. Declare an asynchronous function find all users, return await user dot find all. Here's an example of next.js query builder. It is a SQL query builder with a fluent application programming interface or API. First, next.js versus raw SQL. Next.js syntax. Set up connection. Declare a constant next and assign it to require next, then pass an object with client MySQL2, connection object with host local host, user user, database my database. Select query with joins, declare an asynchronous function get order details, return await next orders, select orders.id, customers.name, dot join customers, orders.customer ID, customers.id, dot where orders.status complete, dot order by orders created at descending, dot limit 10. Here's the equivalent raw SQL. Select orders.id, customers.name from orders, Join customers on orders. Customer ID equals customers. ID where orders. Status equals complete order by orders. Created at descending limit 10. Key features migrations. Export. Up equals function next. Return next. Schema. Create table products. Function table. Table. Increments ID. Table. String named not nullable. Table. Decimal price 8, 2. Table. Timestamps true, true. Transactions. Declare an asynchronous function transfer funds from to an amount. Try await next transaction, asynchronous transaction, await transaction accounts, where id from dot decrement balance amount, await transaction accounts, where id to dot increment balance amount. Finally, return success true. Inside the catch block, throw error. Here we explore client side SQL with SQL.js. Running SQLite in the browser using WebAssembly. What is SQL.js? SQL.js is a WebAssembly port of SQLite that allows you to run a complete SQL database directly in the browser without a server. No server required, full SQL capabilities in browser can work with existing SQLite databases, perfect for offline capable applications. Basic usage example import SQL.js library. Import init SQL.js from SQL.js. Initialize database. Declare an asynchronous function setup database. Declare a constant SQL and assign it to await init SQL.js with locate file file arrow function, https colon slash slash SQL.js. org slash disk slash file. Create a new database. Declare a constant database and assign it to new SQL.database. Execute schema creation database. Run create table users, ID integer primary key, name text not null, email text unique. Insert data database. Run insert into users values question mark, comma question mark, comma question mark. Pass the array one John Doe, John at example.com. Finally, return database. Here we explore GraphQL with SQL integration. Using GraphQL as a modern application programming interface or API layer for SQL databases. GraphQL plus SQL benefits. 
GraphQL provides a flexible application programming interface, or API, layer on top of SQL databases, letting clients request exactly the data they need. Prevents overfetching and underfetching of data, single endpoint for multiple resources, strong typing system with schema, efficient resolution of relational data. Apollo Server with Next Example. Resolver functions with SQL integration. Declare a constant resolvers equals object with query object get user asynchronous parameters underscore object with ID next return await next users dot where ID dot first. Get products asynchronous underscore object with category next. Declare a constant query next products. If category query dot where category return await query. User object orders asynchronous object with ID next. Return await next orders dot where user ID ID. GraphQL schema. Declare a constant type DEFS and assign it to this code. Type user ID name string email string orders order. Type product ID name string price float category string. Type order ID user ID total float date string. Type query get user ID user get products category product. Let's explore some best practices and resources. Best practices. Use parameterized queries. Prevent SQL injection by using parameterized queries and prepared statements. Connection pooling. Use connection pools to efficiently manage database connections. Transactions. Use transactions for operations that require multiple database changes. Error handling. Implement robust error handling for database operations. Learning resources. Documentation official docs for Node.js MySQL, SQLize, Next.js, and SQL.js. Tutorials, interactive tutorials for SQL with JavaScript on platforms like MDN. And free code camp. Newsletters, JavaScript and database focused newsletters for regular updates. Video courses, in depth video courses on JavaScript database integration. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.